Hey everyone, this is Erin Bassett, and today I'm going to be sharing with you how to create one of these cute little notebook covers. Um, it's a great way to just personalize your notebooks for either yourself or for gift giving. And we're going to be using the Scan and Cut DX machine for this. And if you have another model of Scan and Cut, you'll be able to do this as well because we're going to be using that scanning feature. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. For this project, you're going to need a notebook, and I'm using a traveler's journal that has, uh, you know, marked pages on it, has the days of the week and whatnot, um, but you can use whatever journal you have. It could be blank pages um, or line pages. And so to get started, you'll need that, and then you're also going to need a piece of 12 by 12 uh, paper and this is scrapbook paper and I love it because it's double sided um, so it gives you a lot of options and um, so we're going to be using that and then in a lot of the collections of paper they come with these little cards um, that you can cut out but they're also great for using as embellishments you can cut out the little details of it so that's what we're going to do with these they're also great to use just as the cards that they were intended to be Okay, so I'm going to use a paper trimmer also because I need to cut down um, this 12 by 12 sheet of paper to be able to fit my journal. So to do that, I'm going to use this blue green side as the outside cover. So this uh, floral side will be the wrong side of the paper. So I sad to call that the wrong side because it's so cute. But I'm just going to line up my notebook right here um, along the edge and this little tear strip at the bottom um, I'm going to cut off but I'm going to hold on to it because it's really a cute little strip of paper that I might be able to use in this project or another project. So I'm just going to mark on here um, where the top of my journal is. I'm not going to cut off that side piece. Um, because I'm going to need that, um, but just right at the top of the journal is where I'm going to cut. So I'm just marking that and then using my paper trimmer to cut it. Okay, so we cut apart our pieces. Uh, remember to hold on to that tear strip because it's super cute on both sides and you might need it as a little embellishment. Okay, so we can put this aside too. You know, maybe you want to use that in a different project. Um, but here is the base for our cover. Okay, so now I'm just going to put this on here and kind of center it right there. And I'm gonna fold these sides, just kind of score it. It doesn't have to be exact. Okay, so now when I turn this over and open up to the first page, page. Okay, so get that lined up how you had it. And now you can go ahead and crease it over how you want to. Okay, so I'm just going to crease this with my nail. Um, I have really strong nails. Um, but you can use a bone folder or even the pencil that you used um, to be able to mark this. Okay, so I'm going to kind of, this is, this fold isn't really a fold, it's more of a bend, right? So um, you don't want to make it sharp fold, but you do want it to be able to bend easily right there. So next you want to close your book and kind of tuck that flap underneath and that'll make sure that you have the right amount of um, space so that it can be closed or open. Okay, so there is our cute little cover. Um, now, if you plan on, um, you know, having this on 24-7, you don't want to change it out, um, then feel free to put adhesive on your cover and, um, you know, basically glue them together. Um, just be careful with that bend. You want to be able to make sure that you're not warping um, your covers right there. So you want to have room for that bend. Um, and also tuck around the corners, okay? Now, if you, you can also use washi tape to be able to just tape this right on. And I'm not even gonna use a lot, just a little bit to give it, um, you know, just a little cute color and be able to anchor it on there. Oops, I didn't line this up very well. But the great thing is, is that you can just take this off once you get tired of this cover. I'm going to do the same on the back, just 
adding a little bit in there. Okay, so let's get to decorating this now. Okay. okay, so let's start off by putting our paper onto the mat, and this is a standard mat that I'm using. It's well used, so I'm going to use my little roller here to make sure it's stuck on there well. Okay, then I'll just Put my mat between those two bumpers and hit that load button. Okay, so I'm going to click scan and then direct cut because we're cutting it out directly from the mat. We're not um, switching out materials or anything like that. And I'm going to choose my machine. And then down here next to that wrench, um, it has the scan areas 12 by 12, which is correct. I'm using a 12 by 12 mat. And then um, the recognition mode is color. Now, if you need to change any of those things, if you're you know, scanning something smaller or bigger, you can do that. Um, also, you can change it to black and white. So then we're gonna click OK and start. And then next we want to take this and frame it down. Just those butterflies is what we want. And click OK. And then it does all that math to compute it. Okay, so there it is. It shows that it got all my butterflies. It may have gotten the top of this next card underneath just a little bit, but we can uh, delete those pieces. So everything looks great. I'm gonna click OK. And now it asks us, do we wanna put any um, little border around it? So I'm gonna click on that. And you can choose whatever size you want. Now obviously, if you choose these to be really big, they're gonna cut into the other butterflies and the surrounding things around it. Um, so you have to be mindful. And the great thing is though, as you increase this, you can see it on your screen increasing. Um, so that isn't a problem at all. Okay, so I think maybe I'll do a point four. I like a little bit of a border around it. Um, it just gives it more of that sticker look than, um, you know, hand cut look. Now it looks like too, it's not going to get those antennas because that's such a fine line, um, that it didn't pick it up on the scanner. And that is completely okay because I am going to do something, um, with that later. Okay, so I'm just gonna click OK, and um, that's all I need to do. Oh, I can edit. And right now, might be hard for you to see, but right there it selected that piece that's underneath on the hello card, and I can hit delete, and it you know, asks us if you're sure, click OK, and there's another little thing under there, click delete. Okay, so now I'm just left with those three butterflies, so it's perfect, click OK. Okay, and now it's ready to cut. So I can select cut. And now I wanna double check all my settings are right. Okay, so I have it on auto, the speed's pretty fast. My half cut is on because I must have been cutting vinyl. So I'm gonna go down here and turn my half cut off. Oops, let me see, half cut off. Okay, and click okay. And now it looks all great. So I'm going to pick start. Okay, so now it's finished. I'm going to, let's see, let me take that out. I'll just do it right like this so you can see. Voila, there is those three cute little butterflies to use. Um, so now I'm going to take those off very carefully. 
And I'm just gonna stick those right up here so I don't lose them. And now let's see what else we want to cut off or cut out. Let's see. I have this one too. Do you want maybe, I wonder if this envelope would fit on the front. Let's see. Oh, it would just fit. That might be cute to cut out. Even that create would be cute. Well, let's try it. So I'm gonna stick it on my mat again. So this time I'm gonna hit scan and I'm gonna show you the difference of scan to cut data. Um, we have the same options already selected, the 12 by 12 and the color recognition mode. And so I'm just gonna hit start. So this part of the process, it looks the same, right? Okay, so everything we want to work with is at the bottom. So I'm just gonna bring this down right there and click okay. And this is a lot of data, so it might take it a second or two longer than uh, it took us the last time. Okay, so there's everything. Now what I wanted to show you with this one is you have two options of cutting around, out around the outside of an image or the outside and the inside. And when you select each one, it will show you what it's gonna cut out. So like on this envelope, it would cut around the outside of it. Okay, it shows us all that part and that's exactly what we want. Um, same thing with create, um, what's the other one we wanted, that it would, cut around the outside, but it won't cut out the inside of the letters, okay? Um, so if that's something that you want, then um, you know you need to do this envelope this way and then do the create um, this other way, which is the inside and the outside. Let me show you that. So uh, you can see the inside and the outside. So I'm gonna go back to this part because I don't want this all cut up individual and click okay. And I'm gonna put it on my machine because this is, remember the scan to cut data. So all that data needs to be saved somewhere. So I'm saving it to the machine. Um, you could also put it on a USB stick. You can put it on your computer. Um, however you want to do it, you have all those choices with the scan and cut. Okay, so now it's saved in here. Um, I can go ahead and hit home and it's going to say, do you want to delete all patterns? Now that's not asking me if I want to delete what I just saved. Okay. Once you save it on here, it's on there until you go in to take it out and it'll be very clear of you deleting it. This is just deleting the patterns off of the screen. So it's safe to click. Okay. Now we want to still pull that uh, data up before we take this paper off. Right? So we're going to go to retrieve data. Where did we save it to the machine? And it's this last one right here. And so I can see it has all this, like it, it wants to cut out the all these letters for your story is unique. I don't want that. I don't want all this stuff cut out. I don't want the owls cut out. So I'm gonna clean this up a little bit, okay? So I'm gonna click okay, and then edit. Now this is where it can get a little tedious because we got all these little things. But the great thing is we can use where those three little red boxes are. We can click on that and we're going to click this one that allows us to select what we want to get rid of. So I'm just going to bring this down, bring it over and have it get rid of all those. Okay. So it's selected all those little bits. Okay. And then I can hit delete. Are you sure you want to delete it? Okay. So now we have a lot less to get rid of, right? And we can do that same thing for those little owls. So I'm just gonna finish cleaning up all these little bits and pieces and then we'll continue on. So you're just gonna keep clicking okay until you get to this screen. Um, and then you're just gonna select cut and you're ready to start. 
So make sure your paper is still secure to your mat. I'm gonna let it feed in a little bit. So that's all finished. There we go. It's perfect. Okay, so now I'm going to take these off and start assembling my cover. Okay, so now we're ready. I have my butterflies, my create, um, and my little envelope. So to get started, I'm going to take some dry adhesive and just run it along the bottom of one of those tear strips for one of the pieces of paper. And then I'm going to put it on the front of my cover, almost at the bottom. I'm going to leave a little sliver of uh, that blue color showing and then just use my scissors to trim it. And then I'm going to put the envelope on top of that, again, leaving just a little sliver. And now I want to put adhesive on the back of all of those letters. And the tricky part is, is that A um, that goes in the center is the same color as my cover. So I'm just gonna rub some black ink along the edges to make it pop out. And then put all my letters on there. And now it's time for those butterflies. So I only want one of them to be flat on there. The other ones, I'm bending up the wings and putting foam adhesive under the center of them um, to pop them off the page. Now for those antennas, I'm just cutting tiny little bits of black string and I'm going to glue them on underneath the butterfly. And then lastly, I am adding just a little bit of sparkle with some glitter glue onto the center of those flowers. And that's it, there is my finished notebook cover. For more information about Skin and Cut, visit skinandcut.com. And for more ideas and inspiration, visit erinbassett.com.